Hi everyone, welcome back to the Get A Brew channel. So today we're going to look at stainless steel mini kegs. So I've carried out a couple of videos on these in the past, but we've never actually looked at the physical dispensing of that. So what we're going to do today is take one of these five liter kegs and pop one of the tapping options on it and carbonate it. Now these are a really cool product to have. So they come in multiple sizes two, four, five, eight, and 10 liter formats. And they come with multiple dispensing options. So we've got a few of them here. So we've got the tap of the flow control and a not the 60 reg, similar setup with the not the 30 reg. Then we've got the, uh, just the ball lock post option, which allows you to pop on um, this little yoke or indeed um, use the gas um, ball lock connectors to attach one of the regulators straight to. The key thing with these is that you can use these little threaded 16 gram CO2 cartridges. Now we sell them in little boxes, come I think it's 10 in a box, really cheap and efficient way to carbonate your beer. What I like about these is if you're on the move and you're going to a party, you can easily fill a five liter keg like this and charge it up and take a little regulator and a bulb with you. Easy to carry. Um, probably makes you the coolest person at the barbecue that you're attending as well and like you can take it to your brewery you can take it to a growler filler station you can fill it yourself with your own homebrew lots and lots of different options so stainless steel with a little silicon ring on it there to keep that nice and tight and i'll use this one because it's the one that kewan's rigged up so he's cut the silicon tube into fit here you can see this is a regulator flow control and the actual tap so what we're going to do is just pop that in, slide this forward, that pops on. Look, keep your flow control tightened down, keep your tap handle back. Um, this is just a pressure release valve, this is your regulator. So as with everything with brewing, sterilization, cleaning is critical, so make sure everything's clean before you go putting dip tubes and that into your beer. Um, regulator, you're going to want to make sure that it's actually switch to zero you can see there's a little marker just on the regulator here pop this around so you can see what i'm doing you can see that this is threaded thread matches in the cartridges so just screwing that in you can hear there there's a little bit of a burst but like it's it's minimal amount just as you get the thread in and then obviously you're going to turn on the regulator to get the flow and you can see that it's marked on it there not too 30 in this everybody's going to have their own idea for dispensing pressure and um, whether that be 25 or 10 to 12 whatever your thoughts are whatever works for you in the beer style that you're doing stainless steel mini kegs it doesn't matter what size the keg is um, it's approached in the exact same way as kegging is with corny kegs as it is with the maturing barrel so you have options on how you carbonate you can naturally carbonate by batch priming adding a sugar solution, putting it somewhere warm, letting it ferment and create its own CO2. You can force carbonate, which is as simple as putting the bulb in here, turn it up to 25 and shaking it um, in the suspension. So to do that, as I've covered in the corny keg videos, you want to make sure the beer is cold so it's below four degrees so it'll absorb the CO2. And then there's um, just using, you know, the drip feed option where you just set the pressure to your desired PSI and add the chargers and allow it to gradually flow in. It's just roughly 12 PSI, I can see the little mark there and you see the dial here. We've got the CO2 cartridge in it. Um, we filled this with a batch of IPA that we made a number of weeks ago and what we're going to do now is just show you how to dispense. I've got the um, flow control right off so as I started to move that I could hear a little bit of movement and just pull it like a normal tap obviously first pour I want to adjust that a little bit and then I think the shaking that I've done there as well is obviously going to affect the carbonation so we'll have another go with that <laughs> so we've sunk that yeah so <laughs> one of the perks of making your own beer is you get to sample it so we've uh, we've drank that and <laughs> we're gonna, gonna try again so you can see I've adjusted the flow a little bit. It's allowing it to pour just that little bit better. Um, not frothing as much. 
and I can see we're getting a nice glass here. Like, what could be more satisfying than pouring your own draft beer at home that you've made yourself? Right, guys, look, put yourself in this position. The next family occasion, the next friend's barbecue, the next party you're going to, do you want to be the guy that brings the warm box of beer that they've picked up en route to the party, or do you want to bring the... <laughs> or do you want to be... Why can I not speak today? <laughs> right, yeah. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. <laughs> or do you want to be the center of attention with draft? Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions on the stainless steel mini kegs, don't hesitate to get in touch or fire a comment below. Please give us a subscribe and hit the little bell so that when we make more cool videos like this, you get them, you get the notifications. Yeah. That was sh <laughs> Let's try that again. It was like you just sank a beer. Yeah. Day. Just topping that up there. Just <laughs> great setup. Lots of different options for yourself at home. Really, really simple to use, so cheers.